What's up guys welcome back to my channel once again and hope you're all doing great so welcome to this new episode and in this episode I'm going to review a fragrance from a very underrated house which is Nabil perfumes and Nabil perfume is really full of surprises some of their fragrances are really niche class you can compare uh, those fragrances directly with the spirit of Dubai uh, but somehow they are underrated and people they don't talk about it I don't know why uh, especially if you see their uh, vintage collection vintage collection is amazing amazing all four fragrances in uh, vintage collection they are ultra niche and then they have another line which is exquisite line uh, even that line is so good so good and here in this episode I'm going to review a fragrance from their exquisite line I have the whole line, the whole collection. There are uh, six fragrances in Exquisite line. Unfortunately, um, I think one or two are discontinued, but still you can get, I think, four or five from this Exquisite line. So if you can get your hands on Exquisite line, please do it uh, before uh, they stop making these uh, fragrances. So in this episode, I'm going to review a fragrance from at the house of Nabil from their Exquisite collection and the name of the fragrance is Black Sand and let's start the review and it comes in this box there is this beautiful rope see and this rope reminds you of Latafa's Oud Mood uh, round barrel shape boxes but here the box is not a barrel shape this is this tapered uh, style box and a silver color box you will find this dotted pattern in the background then the name of the fragrance uh, black sand on this side it's written in English on the other side it's written in Arabic and in the bottom you get some ingredient details batch code etc and to open the box you have to lift this part up and you will find this beautiful bottle resting here and here we go here we go so this is the bottle uh, the bottle uh, looks beautiful in the beginning uh, but there are some flaws in this bottle to be very fair uh, after some time when you will start using this perfume have a look at it it's a gray painted glass with this silver uh, plastic crown kind of cap the cap is made of plastic and here uh, this is a sticker with ink printing on this and let me show you one thing which I don't like about this fragrance I got a backup bottle for this fragrance see this is a new bottle I just opened the box to show you the presentation and this bottle is in my use and if you see here carefully you see this uh, I was spraying this perfume um, on my dress and a drop of perfume uh, dripped here and once it reached here on the sticker it took off all all the ink see and you will also uh, get some scratches on the bottle once you start using it other than that uh, it's good the bottle shape is not common it's a little bit different and unique uh, some people like it some people uh, don't like it uh, for me i i like the style of the, of the bottle but if they can fix this uh, sticker part here uh, it will be great or, or why don't uh, they make it uh, transparent you know but anyways uh, this is their concept so you will get uh, this perfume in this bottle a gray painted bottle and there are ridges on the back and on the front of this bottle and the cap as I've told you is made of plastic and here on the top you will get this uh, silver uh, uh, fabric kind of design here so this was about the presentation and now we will uh, talk about the fragrance so let me give you the notes background first and as I have told you these fragrances are really niche class and these are really very complex fragrances. Nabil, uh, the owner of Nabil is also their master perfumer and uh, this guy uh, have done such an amazing uh, fragrances. Here in this fragrance you will get 22 notes. So in the top you will get bergamot, sweet orange, spices, rose, damascene, cardamom, coffee, dried fruits and candied fruits. And then in the mid you will get amaris, cedarwood oud coriander violet rose saffron and cypriol and then in the base you'll get patchouli sandalwood mosses uh, leather amber and oak moss oh such a complex scent and really once you will smell it you can feel that complexity and 
uh, in this perfume it's very difficult to break it down in like phases that this is the opening this is the mid this is the base no the feel of uh, of this fragrance is like uh, it gives you that feel of of an art performance uh, it's like a stage and all these notes are dancing there and they are keep uh, coming and going in a in, in a random way so from the start till end uh, you will enjoy this fragrance so you can say that this is a linear fragrance and a complex at the same time uh, because every now and then uh, a new note is going to hit your nose so uh, you will keep enjoying the whole journey uh, of this perfume the whole experience is amazing so i will just try to explain you uh, the fragrance and i'm not going to break it down like in the opening mid and uh, dry down phases okay so here uh, first of all this is an amazing scent this is an amazing scent and uh, just wow so in the opening when it opens when you, once you spray you will get amaris you will get saffron you will get coriander you will get uh, rose coffee uh, with some uh, heavy sandalwood this is a sandalwood uh, based scent the backbone of this perfume is a sandalwood that creamy soft rounded sandalwood uh, in the start uh, this amaris is more prominent with rose uh, the second main player in this perfume is rose and then you will get this note of coffee uh, lingering around these notes and uh, you will get some cypriol here there is uh, some balsamic notes some woody notes there are some spices you'll get that sweet smooth saffron uh, with some uh, a very uh, nice uh, buttery and a very light uh, touch of uh, cardamom a little bit of amber some spiciness from the amber this is a very complex and beautiful concoction and the overall feel of this perfume is is that uh, creamy buttery sweet woody and in the base uh, with the sandalwood you will also get that smooth uh, sweet kind of leather so there are a lot of things here to discover there is rose there is amaris there is spices there are woody notes, there is leather, there are some aromatics here, some balsamic notes and wow, this is, this is just amazing. And this perfume is going to remind you a very famous fragrance of the house of Le Labo, one of their best seller and which is Santal or Santal 33. The structure, the DNA is almost the same, the base, the, the, the main core of this perfume is almost similar to Santal 33 same type of sweet creamy uh, sandalwood based scent so if you take Santal 33 DNA or if you take Santal 33 and you add uh, some green notes from green notes what I mean here is like cypriol and then you add uh, some rose you add some amaris some aromatics some spices uh, you topped it up uh, with all these more ingredients uh, you'll get black sand this is just wow so this was about the fragrance and now let's talk about the performance performance here is eternal performance projection uh, longevity silage are outstanding uh, 20 out of 10 once you put this on your dress uh, you, it, will, it will never go until you wash your your dress and even on your skin it's going to stay for a very long time for a very long time this perfume as i've told you in the beginning is linear but it's not that linear as i told you it's also complex uh, the only difference in the opening and the dry down is that in the dry down it becomes a little bit simpler simpler in the dry down uh, you left uh, mainly with this beautiful uh, creamy uh, soft sandalwood with that warm and smooth suede leather uh, with some uh, musky notes in the in the dry down but the whole show is outstanding amazing uh, now let's talk about the gender so this is purely a unisex scent my wife she loves to wear it me myself i love to wear it so it's a unisex scent anyone can wear it easily for the age group this is for mature people uh, for the teenagers and youngsters it's not going to suit them very well and i'm sure they're not going to like it so for mature people if you are like 26 27 years old uh, you can rock it and this is something oh, wow extraordinary and now let's talk about 
season or weather so you can use this perfume all year round but especially in winters in cold nights in 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 a cold weather this is going to uh, work like a magic it's going to give you an extraordinary experience so you can use it in the summers but if you are living inside indoors in an air-conditioned room in a direct sunlight when the temperature is very high you are not going to enjoy it a lot but in winters wow and now let's talk about uh, the occasion so occasion wise this is really versatile scent it's complex but it's still versatile it's not a difficult scent it's very sweet creamy rounded woody uh, floral and spicy scent so uh, the disliking factor will be very less and here even the compliment factor is high this perfume uh, can bring you some good compliments and now let's talk about the price the main thing so this perfume comes in 100 ml quantity with edp concentration and the price of this perfume is only 70 uae dirhams in 70 dirhams this is really a gem a really a true masterpiece a work of art so if by any chance you can get this perfume guys get it if you like uh, sandalwood based fragrances complex fragrances uh, get it and you are going to love it and if you are living in uae it's very easy for you to visit uh, one of their outlet and try it out and try the whole exquisite line i have all of them all six and i will review uh, in next two to three weeks all of them one by one so this was about black sand from the house of nabil a uh, really niche fragrance with uh, cheapy uh, price tag so this was about black sand i hope you like this review and until the next video take care and bye